So here's the internals of the JB Weld connecting rod and piston. I've already got the, the connecting rod assembled in the engine there. I'll rotate it over here so you can see it. See, there it is, there going, going up. I'll rotate her down here. You can see the, the bottom of the piston up in there. Show you the top. So it is indeed a JB Weld piston. It's the same piston I ran before. And once again, there's the connecting rod. Made a JB Weld. I'll show it uh, later on in the video uh, before it was installed in the engine. And uh, now I will uh, try to uh, run it and see how long it lasts. So here's the JB Weld connecting rod and piston. Uh, I've ran each of them uh, separ separately before. The pistons all burn up on top and things after about a five minute run. But uh, still in good enough shape. It uh, can run again. The connecting rod, I actually took the... Uh, the other rod that I had that was broken off, like right here, and uh, JB welded it back up. Made a new uh, bearing cap for it there. So uh, hopefully it will uh, last for a while. You never know with an experiment like this. Could run five seconds. Could run. When did it run last time? A minute or something? But anyway. That's what's going to be running in the engine in the video. Well, I thought it was recording a video of the uh, JB Weld connecting rod and piston, but uh, unfortunately, my new camera decided that uh, it didn't want to record it. So, I blew the con rod up and it ain't on video. It was even a uh, nice uh, yellow blue um, flash coming from the combustion chamber there. If you've seen my uh, other videos of the glass head, I would say the connecting rod ran about uh, at least 30 to 45 seconds and then snapped with a loud bang, uh, just like the, the previous one did. But, as I say, unfortunately, now you can see the, the piston is right at the top of the bore there. It slammed into the cylinder head. And I'm sure the connecting rod is in chunks. But, uh, sorry about that. No, uh, no live video of this one. Um, I will disassemble it and show you the blown up connecting rod. Um, I'm seriously disappointed and just about threw this camera into the floor since I've been making videos for like pushing 10 years and never had that happen before especially on a project like this where it's not like I can just put another rod in and run it you know I spent uh, quite a few hours making that connecting rod and then uh, camera didn't cooperate so I guess enough bitching and moaning for now I'll uh, tear it apart and show you what it's like but I can give her a crank over here and uh, show you that it'll just free wheel yeah, see? the valves are opening but the pistons not doing anything so connecting rods definitely broken anyway Better luck, better luck on my next vid, I guess. Oh yeah, and uh, for those of you that have been watching my video series, see, you got snow on the left of the crack there, and uh, it's uh, melting it on this half again. Weird phenomenon with my patio here. Anyway, thanks for watching the video series. Sorry I didn't get any uh, live action of it there. Well, here's the scene of destruction that uh, I encountered when I took the crankcase cover off it here. Just to show you, show you the cylinder head there. I don't know if you can see it, but oil all over it there. Like I say, I'm I'm not pulling your leg here. This thing actually ran. Just my camera decided not to record it. But anyway, you got uh, 
I uh, changed the design on this one and uh, I didn't have a nut on this one. I Instead I drilled and tapped the JB Weld and uh, uh, loctited it in place. Man, I really massacred this rod. This is, this is worse than the first time. That's a part of the cap. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's she she just grenaded. Yeah. Pull a camshaft out there. There's a tap but you're gonna bite it. I'm just I see a I see a chunk of the connecting rod sitting right up here on the crankshaft. Yeah. Of course it doesn't want to come out. Oh <laughs> that's the top end of the rod. Piston pin. Oh yeah, I just blew the rod right apart this time. That's uh, part of the piston pin holder there. Well, I'll pull the piston out here if it, if it wants to come out. I just gotta set the camera down for a second here. Okay, got it. See a little uh, chunk missing out of the piston there. Uh, none of the rod left in it. At least it didn't break the piston. That's good. That means I can run it again. Top end there slammed into the cylinder head. You can see a little, probably this area right here with the carbon on it. So that's good. It didn't It didn't break my JB Weld piston. But that rod's definitely done. I actually uh, reused it there. I reused it. Sorry about the video there. Reused the top half there. Here's uh, this is the piston pin area, another part of it there. It uh, it didn't break it nearly as badly the first time. Kind of fits together like that. But anyway, as you can see there, it's uh, it broke in the same spot again. That's uh, right where this main bolt is. But did a bang up job on it. There's no repair in that rod. Time to start over. Like I say, it ran, it started up, ran about 10 seconds, and then I throttled it back and it quit. So I primed it again, started it up, and then it ran, ran a good half a minute. And uh, I was, I was fiddling with the throttle and uh, getting it closer to idle, and then just kabang, that was it. So apparently the the JB Weld can can take the forces for a little while, but uh, then uh, gives up and breaks. So similar story to the first connecting rod I did uh, about a year ago. Say I used a slightly different construction on this one, but uh, same end result. Uh, I think the first one ran about a minute. So anyway, this next part of the video is uh, I show uh, the. JB Weld um, connecting rod and piston uh, on my uh, desk uh, last night before I assembled it in the engine. So thanks again for watching the video and I'm really sorry that uh, I didn't record it while it was actually running but uh, anyways you can see the results here. So hey everybody take care and have a good March break.